Vanessa Wilson here for sales representative from Coal Banker Momentum Realty here in Niagara Region on my lifestyle brand, Niagara Living, which provides fun activities for the kids, outdoor activities, markets, shopping, restaurants, uh, wineries, one of my favorites, um, and hiking, another one of my favorites, and um, walking paths. Um, I want to share with you today and speak to you today about real estate in general in the Niagara region and what's going on. Um, our communities, which make up our Niagara region, such as St. Catharines, Niagara Falls, Port Colborne, Welland, Grimsby, Lincoln, Fort Erie, just to mention a few, so they're composed of cities, um, hamlets, towns, villages, um, really cool areas to live. We're situated between two lakes, Lake Ontario and Lake Erie, um, with a beautiful Niagara escarpment um, that is, sits in between, which offers you a lot of land or the possibility of purchasing land, of course, if you're purchasing a resale home. Um, the challenges that our community has is that we have a lot of out-of-towners purchasing, which is bumping up the price. A form of gentrification um, that's going on for locals, which is unfortunate, but that is the market that we see today. So we're still considered a fairly hot market in Niagara. Um, the reason being is that a lot of GTA or Greater Toronto Area people can purchase a home for a fraction of the cost that um, they have to pay in their own areas. So now they're going to commute um, to work um, or retire. Um, we have 55% of Niagara region's population is uh, composed of those over 65 years of age and up. Most of those people are looking for bungalows. So bungalows can become quite uh, costly or um, not really as affordable as people think because they may cost as much as a two-story home. So when you put that together with the challenges of the day of getting a mortgage or navigating through uh, duly zoned uh, land or uh, you know residential and or commercial or residential and agricultural or horse and kennel sites um, uh, farms um, this is where you would need a realtor that has a vast knowledge because if you don't hire a realtor that knows the area um, for purchasing or for selling um, then they won't know anything about the area. So how can they really sell your home properly or how can they give you the information you need to proceed to purchase in Niagara region? And that would be the question of the day. So basically you would then, as a seller, you may not make as much money as you would like on your, the sale of your home. On the buying end, you may end up paying more for the home than you should. Um, or not know what's going on around the area. Um, on top of that, you have the zoning, um, you have areas that require more skill set from a realtor, and that realtor should be from your, the local area you're purchasing or selling in. Um, I have been living in the Niagara area for 38 years now. I lived in um, Grimsby, Lincoln, which is Vineland, uh, St. Catharines, and Fort Erie. So I have a vast knowledge of the area. Um, I've worked as a realtor for over six years and I've also worked new construction for a private company um, prior to getting my license. So I have knowledge of new construction, resale homes. I have my ASA accreditation, which is a senior's accreditation. Um, and uh, basically I can help you navigate and find you your dream home. So if you have any questions about real estate or uh, Niagara region in general, please, I've, I've provided link, uh, links to my website and my cell phone. You can text me, you can personal message me, you can email me, whatever your needs are, I am here for you. So again, this is episode two of my uh, real estate uh, videos. And thank you for watching today and I look forward to speaking to you in the future with episode three. Thanks a lot guys. Have a great day.